and good evening ladies and gentlemen family and friends boys and girls everybody who is watching us we are live this is power now and a warm welcome to all of our friends that are watching us in ghana and beyond we already know that we are on youtube so that means we have the ability to reach so many people all around the world so hello if you're from the uk america australia brazil wherever it is that you're watching us from please drop your name or your country in the comment section get interactive and literally let us know what you are enjoying the most about the show or you never know what you'd like to see on the show my name is Ms. Drew I am your hostess with the Moses and I just get so excited every single Sunday when I get to join you and literally bring to you some spiritaining spiritual entertainment yeah you get it <laughs> spiritaining stuff so if you this is your first time watching power now this is the warm-up for power of worship now power of worship is where we bring to you a blessed talented man or woman of God on your screens I have a little chat with them and they literally take over the stage and bless you for an hour or more until the spirit leaves well I mean the spirit never leaves us, but until it's time to go home. Now, also on Power Now, I read your messages, I read your testimonies, and that is what I love the most. When I find out how God has blessed each and every single one of you watching at home. So please, please, please get interactive on all of our social media platforms, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. Send your testimonies because you never know how you may be blessing somebody else. I also give you Drew's Gentle Reminders, a little pick up to keep you going throughout the week, for you to share with your friends and families on your statuses, your Instagrams, your WhatsApp. And of course, I give you a recap of what went down last week. So, in order to begin the show, we have to begin with Drew's gentle reminder. Just something small that you can hold on to or maybe share with a friend. You never know, they might need it. So this week, my gentle reminder is pray for wisdom to identify what you need to let go and the courage to let it go. Now, there are so many of us that, you know, we hold on to some unnecessary things that we don't have to. People might have upset us or said something and we're finding it hard to just let go, to forgive and let go. Sometimes we're holding on to things that we can't even deal with. Only God has the ability to deal with them. So why don't we write down or speak to God and confess all of our troubles, our cares, our worries, give them to God, let go and let God. And when we pray and ask God to give us the strength to let go, trust me, things will start unfolding, blessings will start coming. I mean, I always tell you guys, forgiveness is a very, very important thing. Learn to forgive because it actually blocks our blessings. Jesus forgave 70 times 70. So let's try that. <laughs> now let's get into our recap of what went down last week. If you missed it, I love you so much. So here's a quick recap. Don't go anywhere. Get 
What a powerful ministration from Madam Mabna. Last week she came, we had a big conversation and she was telling us her testimony, where she began and how she got to where she was now. And I'm telling you, it was more than inspirational. Now, if you want to check it out, it is available for us, for, for you, on our YouTube Silicon House Productions. So please do go and check it out. We're so nice. We just leave everything there. So last week I did have a amazing conversation with my friend Emmanuel Smith and so this week he's brought more of his friends from London town so I'm so excited that I'm here joined with some of my friends from London so first of all we've got Pastor Ben Ando hey. Hey. <laughs> and of course the amazing Sam Bella how are you I'm good thank you good now please tell us how does it feel to be in warm Ghana from cold London Wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we're here for the sun. That's why we're here, just for the sun. For the sun. A, quick, a quick getaway, right? <laughs> oh, no, we're so happy to have you here. Thank you Thank guys you. so much for Thank coming you. to join us. So, let's start with Pastor Ben Ando. Now, I know that you're not here for no reason. So, tell us, tell us a little bit, actually, about you. What's your story? Uh, oh, it's a long one, but I'll cut it short. Um, mm -hmm. So, uh, my name is Ben, um, and I'm, I'm a pastor in London. Um, and um, I'm one of the co-founders of an Arv Experience. So mm -hmm. the Arv Experience is um, an organization of people who just want to spread the love of God. So Arva means um, love in Hebrew. So what we do is that we give love in as many different ways as possible. So we're in the prison ministry. We go to the prisons, do Bible studies with them, do Sunday services with them, as well as in Africa now. Um, we deal with orphanages, um, giving love to an orphanage, providing for them, refurbishing what we can refurbish with them as well. Um, and now recently, God has given us the opportunity to now introduce crusades. Crusades, So wow. we're going way back and bringing it into the present. I love that. Um, and how, we long, believe, how long has Abba been around for? Just two years. We celebrated Let our two year anniversary two last years. week. Oh, congratulations. Yeah. yeah, thank you so much. Okay, so... Yeah. Now, you are in Ghana. Mm -hmm. If you guys don't already know, we had Ava in Ghana launched. Yes. The, the, the Ghana family of Ava yes. launched last year. Mm -hmm. And so you're back again. That's right. Okay, so what are you coming to do this year now? Um, so what we're doing is that we're doing two um, Ava experiences. So on the Friday, well, this Friday coming up, which is the 12th, um, we're taking some of the team, both Ghana and UK, to um, a village where we're going to spread the gospel and we're going to do a healing crusade. So we're going to wow. speak to the um, villagers, give them the love of Christ, as well as feed them and then also have a conversation with the chief as well and present Christ to them wow. so that they can be transformed. And then um, the following day we come back yeah. um, and then we're going to do an other experience um, in Accra with Aquarians, if that's the right word Aquarians, to say. Aquarians, eh? Hey, Aquarians. Americans are now <laughs> Aquarians. I can get away with it, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so um, we're going to be in the main city in Accra where we're saying to people, do you know what? Come and then let's just worship God. Um, yeah. It's not a concert, it's an experience. Because we believe that when God comes down and he showers his love, broken people are made whole. Mm -hmm. You know, he comes for the people who are lost. You know, and it's about refurbishing and building the new church yeah so we're destroying the four walls of the church and saying hey come if you've never been to church before this is now an opportunity to come into a place where it's been redesigned yeah and it's just the love of god that's just operating throughout I the whole scene that. so I love we're that. excited about oh, this wow that's amazing so that's taking place in a church <laughs> yes okay correct. so which church so it's happening at trinity baptist mm -hmm. um which is opposite of upsa um building which is the big university yeah. um <laughs> lagos avenue if i'm correct mm -hmm. i'm getting my bearings right because obviously <laughs> google maps does everything for you but in in, in ghana you have to be direct so it's yes. happening at trinity baptist Okay. Um, doors open at 5 p.m. Um, the event will start by 6 p.m. by God's grace. Obviously, with COVID, Thank you. we need to follow the guidelines. Right. You know, COVID is not going to touch us, but we still have to be wise. We are covered um, by the blood, yes. okay? But of yes, course. COVID protocols mm -hmm. will be in place. So wearing your mask, social distancing. Mm -hmm. But if you don't know God, do you have friends that need to know Christ? Bring them along. Don't even tell them it's a church event because... It's not really a church event. Just tell them, I'm coming to show you something. And God will do the rest of the work. 
So now we've got Sam also, you're part of Ava. Yes. So tell us a little Ooh. bit about you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm Samuel Bella. I'm uh, a worship leader in my church, mm -hmm. or music director in my church. Um, I've been doing ministry for about 13 years. 13? Wow. Yeah. wow. Makes me sound young. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wow. yeah, so um, yeah, from about 2008. Yeah, 2008. Mm. Is that when yeah, you gave yeah. your life to Christ? Or? I gave my life to Christ 2007. Whoa, wow. so a year yeah. after and then boom, music year, director. Literally, yeah, wow, it happened like good. that. I was, I was saved in, in a revival that was taking place in Northampton, a young youth revival. Hundreds of people were getting saved, but I was one of the kind of like the starters of that in college. Boys. So, yeah. <laughs> So in college, we got, I got saved um, through a pastor friend of mine at the time. He's preaching to us. And then me and my brother, my cousin, and my other friend, we all got saved at the same time. Oh, and then we just started seeing, then we just kept meeting and praying and seeking God. And revival broke out in Northampton. How's Hundreds the, of people got saved. How's the journey been for you? Man. Yes. It hasn't been smooth. Mm -hmm. yeah, like every journey, it has its ups and downs, but I'm still here today. So I think the main thing I've learned in the journey is consistency, man. Just, just keep going. In itself. Yeah. So are you doing like, you know, worship or singing, ministering full time? Yes. Wow. At the moment, I, yeah, that's what Ooh. I've been called to do. So yeah, I'm doing that at the moment. Yeah. How did, how did you, I want to know about that, whether it's a light bulb experience or the seeking God's face experience when he just said, listen, Sam, stop all the other things that you're doing. I'm going to look after you. I need you to minister full time. When was that? Literally, well, if I could say, I want to say about 2010. Let okay. me say about 2010, 2009, Whoa, so 2010. Whoa, nearly like 11 years. Yeah. Just doing ministry full time. Yeah. I remember praying in my room one day and I was in tears like I was so frustrated in my spirit because I was still even though I was doing ministry I still didn't know purpose as in what's the fullness of Sambala well mm -hmm. at the time anyway it's like God what am I doing what am I meant to do and I remember crying in my room I don't know if you know the song um Israel Houghton um identity it's got mm -hmm. a song called identity and it's quite fast, so I remember in my room crying and dancing to the song. I want to know, I want to know what you call me to do, and so on and so forth. And then out of that, I remember just clarity. One day I was sleeping. I woke no in my dream. Yeah, I woke up. Sorry, and I just had a download of literally everything I was meant to do. It was, it was almost. I was thinking it was overload. I literally had to grab my pen, paper, and just start scribbling, scribbling. If you read it now, it just looks like a bunch of mess. But I know, <laughs> you know I, what it means. I know what it means by the spirit. <laughs> I love that. I love that. Yeah. Wow. Okay. And then, Pastor Ben, I know that your life wasn't always <laughs> being a pastor. Yeah. So what, what was your like story? Because you've is completely like hot and cold for you. Yeah, it was like a complete turnaround. So, I mean, I haven't been, well, I've been in ministry for a long time, but being a pastor um, was something that was, um, that arose quite later on in ministry. Because mm -hmm. um, I was on the streets, I was into women, you know, um, I had two kids before I even got married. Like, and that was my life. Um, even though I love God, but I also loved so much things that was outside. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and you can't get that in, in the church. Mm -hmm. um, and I remember, um, Five years ago now, um, the Holy Spirit just woke me up one day and was like, Ben, I need you to leave everything you're doing. Whoa. Like, drop everything. And so I remember I had a meeting with my dad and I sat down with him and I was like, do you know what, dad? Like, God is calling me into ministry. And so I need to leave what I'm doing now and just stop everything. And everyone was just like... Is your dad a pastor? Or? So my dad is into ministry. He's okay. heavily involved in ministry. Oh, okay. So, so pastor's yeah. son, you know <laughs> <laughs> it's funny, I was adopted, so oh. um, a lot of people don't know that um, I was adopted and I served, um, you know, with him, lived with him for about wow. 15 years. And um, he was so heavy in it, so everyone thought, okay, then, you know, Ben is going to follow his footsteps. And five years, the Holy Spirit just said, no, drop everything. Yeah. And I was like, but why? And I didn't understand until a year and a half later, mm -hmm. and God ministered to me and said, look, now that you stopped everything and I've got your attention, now it's time for you to start. And I remember um, I was working, I had a really, really good job, which was fueling everything that we do. So, you know, I don't have to ask for money, do everything, you know, because we have a good job. Yeah. And God said, now you're going to leave at this specific date. And I remember it was, um, it was last year, March, 
that I won't forget this day, March the 10th. Mm. And Coming God said, soon. God said, you're leaving on this day. And I said, no, I'm not. And I remember I spoke to Sam, <laughs> I was talking about it today. Sam called me and gave me a prophecy <gasps> and said, you know what, you're going to be going around the world, you're going to be preaching, you're going to be doing Amen. all these things. And, you know, and we only had just met then. And I gave a prophecy as well. We were just talking. Hey. Then all of a sudden, I remember I wrote my resignation letter in faith. And I was going to leave six months, you know, from the time that I wrote it. And I wrote, I wrote it in um, a few weeks before and March turned up. And I was writing it, writing it, you know, confidently. Yeah, I'm going to give it to my boss. <laughs> I'll leave in six months. Um, put the paper in, printed it, gave it to my boss. My boss said, so you're leaving in two weeks? What? I was like, sorry? <laughs> I was like, excuse me, and this is a very, very also I, I became the first black guest relations manager in Mayfair. Wow. So it was like, are you really dropping this to go and do charity work? And so I, I looked at it and I was like, like this, this is the wrong day, but I've given it. And then I remembered that God said to me in March, I'm leaving. Look and at is. that day, I just said, you know what? That's, that's what amazing. it is. And Whoa. I've never looked back ever since. But that's and, good yeah. that you've never looked back. I mean, mm. the two of you kind of had, you know, similar stories. You were both, you know, doing something different and then straight away God said, this is what you needed to do. Yeah. So I want to know, where did you get the courage or how have you been able to continue being like, do you know what? God said, this is what I'm going to do. And so I'm going to literally walk in faith because you had no idea, you know, you're leaving such a great job. You have no idea, like, you know, you're just college boy you just about gave your life and now you're dropping everything you don't know where your finances are coming from you don't have a clear clear idea what the story is i mean you've had prophecies but it's not like the prophecy came and tomorrow you're walking in it yeah. so how did you or what is it that kept you motivated to keep going and where did you draw that strength from to be like forget what the naysayers mm -hmm. and haters or forget the negativity i'm just going to look forward trusting that god's got me i think for me the instruction of the Lord was enough wow. for me personally. I think once he speaks, the grace to fulfill what he said also comes with it. So even, in, even though you said that, you know, the prophecy immediately doesn't come the fulfillment, there's a process in between that time. Mm -hmm. But it's me remembering that this is what the Lord said and he yeah. can't lie. Amen. So surely what he said will come to pass. Yes. So that's what, kept, that's what keeps me. That's what's always kept me, mm -hmm. to be honest. I mean, it's similar for me, um, and like I've, and as you grow with God, you know, you also grow in Him. Yeah. And the beauty of it is that you you realize that even though sometimes you have doubts, like I remember, you know, leaving this job and saying, "Where's the money going to come from?" <laughs> you know. And it's funny, the moment I left my job and I, I started depending on God, Ava grew even faster. Look at that. You know, and <laughs> I was saying to people like, I don't know where we're going to get the money from. I don't know how we're going to do ministry. Yeah. But we're just going to believe. And something that my wife says all the time, which I appreciate her for, is that ever since, you know, we've, we've made that decision, our fridge has never been empty. Amen. And COVID came, so I couldn't even go back to work. Look at that. And God has just been providing every Amen. day, every Amazing. week. And then all of a sudden, uh, an idea that we thought that God just brought us into the UK, all of a sudden it went international. Just like that. This is you only know. God's doing. It only is. God's mm -hmm. doing. Now of course guys we've got a worship director mm -hmm. in our presence. So he has to. He has to perform. And we also have a pastor. So he has to give us a word of encouragement before we go. So if you could give us a quick word of encouragement to our viewers. I mean we're in unpredictable times right now. There's probably people who are battling in the spirit of just getting up and leaving and walking into that yeah. purpose so a quick word of encouragement for our viewers please this is your um, camera what i would but i'm here yeah, yeah. yeah what i would say to anyone that's watching i'm, I'm gonna actually feed off from what miss drew was saying um, about wisdom and forgiveness and the only way that you can actually succeed in the things of god the only way that you can get over depression anxiety um you know all these things that the devil throws at you is by you believing that the devil has no power over your mind one of the scriptures that comes to mind is proverbs chapter 3 verses 5 and 6 and it says trust in the lord with all of your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. What does that mean? It means that even if I'm in a tight corner and something is pushing me, I don't trust in myself, but I trust in the God in me who's gonna pull me out of the situation. Mm -hmm. The beautiful thing about God is that he doesn't work in time. He works out of time because he's eternal, but he's placed purpose mm -hmm. inside of you. Mm -hmm. He's placed purpose inside of all of us. Mm -hmm. So it's up to me to decide that, okay, then if God doesn't work in time, I trust him that eventually my purpose 
purpose is going to be fulfilled. So mm -hmm. when the devil keeps hitting you left, right and center, remember that this earth is his prison. Time is his prison. He's lost the battle already. So do not lean on your own understanding, but lean on the promises of Christ. Lean mm -hmm. on the promises of Jesus' love. Because it's in the dark moments that's when he comforts you. It's the dark moments that's when he's there for you. And that is when you realize that you're a winner because he's won the battle for you already. Wow. Yes. Mm -hmm. You see, if we let him go, he's going to preach. So make sure you follow him <laughs> on Instagram, Ben Ando. Yes. On Insta. And Sam, where can we follow you on your social um, media? Samuel Bella Music. Samuel Bella Music. Now, this is a quick taster of how he has been blessed the anointing oil that is on him so don't go anywhere we'll be right back with Samuel Bella cool. Hallelujah And hallelujah 
by Samuel Bella. Please do follow him on Instagram. Check him out. All of the details will be on the screen. For now, guys, we're going for a quick break and I'll be right back again where we'll join our Joy Prime viewers as well. So thank you, but don't go anywhere. with HD Plus. Get the best companion for your HD TV with HD Plus. Dial star 879 hash to activate and enjoy the first two months for free. Do you want a sugar-free, freshly squeezed fruit juice? Choose Green Line Fruit Juice and Smoothies. Filled with vitamin C, calcium, iron, fiber and zinc, every drop of Green Line Juice and Smoothies is naturally made to give you energy, good health and refreshment. Enjoy your favorite Green Line Orange, Pineapple Passion, Watermelon, Pineapple and Turmeric, Pineapple Beetroot, Pineapple and Ginger and Healthy Green. Green Line Fruit Juice and Smoothies, powered by nature. some of our viewers on YouTube, Silicon House Productions, and a warm welcome to our wonderful family on Joy Prime. My name is Ms. Drew. I am your hostess with the mostest, and you are watching Power Now. Now, this is the warm-up for Power of Worship. Every single week, we have an amazing man and woman of God that joins us on this stage and literally graces you with the presence of God through your screen, through your device, your mobile,
mobile, your TV, your laptop, your iPad, whatever you name it, the Holy Spirit comes from here straight direct to your homes. And it is a wonderful experience. If this is your first time watching Power Now, I mean, please become one of our family members and follow us on all of our social media platforms, Silicon House Productions on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. And do get in contact with us, you know, send me a message, let me know where you're watching from, if you're enjoying the show, your favorite part, or who you would even like to see on the show. What I love is when you guys send your testimonies. Oh my goodness. I love reading out your testimonies. You never know, your testimony can bless somebody else that is watching. So don't be afraid to share the goodness that God has graced you with. Now also on the show, you know, earlier I gave a Drew's gentle reminder, but what we do here is we give a quick recap of what went down last week. Now before I get into that, I must say a big thank you to our sponsors, Green Line Juice and Smoothies, beautiful natural juices, no preservatives, additives, colorants, perfect for you, packed with all of the vitamins that you need, especially in this crazy season that we are in. Also to Silicon House Productions, without them we would not have this amazing stage, camera, lights, the team, they're all so, so fantastic. And Silicon Lodge located in Abilempe, a beautiful quick getaway location for overnight stays, business trips, or even if you want to go for a nice dinner, breakfast, Silicon Lodge has got you covered. Now, last week we had Madame Mabna come and tell us her testimony. Here's a quick recap of her ministration.
blessed by Madam Mabna last week. If you would like to catch up on the full ministration, it is available for you on our YouTube, Silicon House Productions. Now, a lot of you have already been sending in your messages. I love it, so I'm going to read out a few of them. Um, somebody said, oh, this show is so inspirational. Every time I watch it, I get goosebumps. God bless you. God bless you too. You didn't leave your name. Hi Drew, my name is Frida from Tuck. Well, my family and I are big fans of Power Now and it is our prayer that many others tune in to receive their blessings just like we do every single week. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Please share that link or share that, send a message to your friend, your family, your workmates. Everybody deserves to be blessed. So it's important that you let everyone know that we are live. Also, hi, Miss Drew. I'm Jason Asari from Achimota. I just want to say I'm very impressed and pleased with the show. Thank you. The immense work and effort that you and your whole team put into the show is definitely not going to go unrewarded. May God bless you all. Amen. And may God also bless you. Someone's asked, Please can Sonny Beidou come onto the show already? He's my favorite Ghanaian gospel artist and I would love to see him one of these days. That's much love from Pando. All right. Hi, Miss Drew. I want to see Sarka De Chateauale and Stoneboy sing gospel and power of worship very soon. That's Tago from Tema. You, I keep getting this request. Eesh. Now maybe I should call them and tell them. Sarka De Chateauale, Stoneboy, and I'll add Samini too. The four S's. <laughs> but yes, please do continue to send your messages to us at Silicon House Productions. I'll do my best to read them all out. But now, this evening, the man of God, yes, is the man of God who will be gracing your stage or coming to your screens, coming to your homes this evening to bless you is no one other than the one and only... Sissy Baby, <laughs> how are you? I'm blessed yourself. I'm blessed. Nice awesome. to see you again. You too. You too. I know, right? How have it's you been? been? A while. I've been good. Uh, well, you look awesome. well. Loving the thank loving you. the outfit. I like your dress as well. Oh, thank you. Shout <laughs> outs to Fiona and Adringono. <laughs> okay, so Sissy, tell us how's it going? How's life been? So far, so good. Um, God has been good to us. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, we all know that last year was very tiring but um, I mean God saw us through it was a good year for us um, yeah. so I mean we are thankful we're okay thankful 2021 what can we expect from CC in we have 2021? a lot we have a lot in store coming um, we are working on an album Ooh. so by the grace of God it should it should happen before the the middle of the year I like that we're trusting God before um, the middle of the year he said it you've put it into existence so God has heard you. It will happen. Amen. We're all expected. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> okay, now, Cece, there are some people who are watching who, I mean, they've never heard of you before. So tell us a little bit about you. How long have you been ministering for? Well, I've been singing, like, I mean, you hear all the time. I've been singing since I was a kid. Hey, um, church boy. <laughs> yeah. I, I was born into the church. Um, my dad is a music director in the Presby Church. Um, so I've basically been born into the church. My sister used to sing. Okay. Um, so basically I got the interest of singing from her. Because she used to sing in the Presbyterian um, Youth Choir. So that's where I, I got the interest from. I started singing a cappella from there. And um, by God's grace, that's where we are. So music is in the blood. Yes, it's it in the family. It is. Oh, I love that. Is, okay. Yeah. And you decided to jump on the bandwagon yes. instead of run away like some people. Yeah. <laughs> you like that. Okay, so how long ha has it been since you've been taking it seriously or, you know, doing your own thing? 
I think basically um, doing my own thing um, since 2017. Okay. Um, but before that, I've been I've been singing with um, Reverend Denzel Prempe um, since 2007, all the way till then. Wow. Um, so um, I've still been working, doing the work, um, serving under him, and then also in my local church as well. I've been serving. Um, so basically. We started doing our own thing from 2017. Okay, so are you still serving under the Reverend, or no? Now we are. We are now I'm doing my doing own thing. Your own thing. Yes. Okay, so what is it that you know? I know you said you were born into the church, but I'm sure there must have been a divine intervention, or there was one time that is very significant to you that you were like, do you know what, God, I'm actually going to sacrifice. I'm dying to self, and I'm 100% going to live for you. When was that moment? I think I was 13 Whoa. at the time. Um, there was, there was a, a revival that happened in Adenta. And um, there were a lot of people that were being warned for Christ. So I happened to be a part of the chunk that were warned for Christ in the nice. time. We used to pray on the, on the field for, for a very long time. So that was the time, in fact, we were, we were a group of friends. And uh, we all used to walk together, you know, play, learn, study together and all that. And uh, we were approached by these men of God. Um, who had already met God and then they spoke to us I mean about Christ and then we accepted Christ mm. before that we were already in the church we were, we were going to church and everyth everything but that was the time that we actually gave our lives to yeah. Christ and then started to walk with him properly so how has you the know. journey been since then till now it's been amazing wow it's been amazing well, that's um, good God, God has been good mm -hmm. you know definitely there are the ups and downs of here course. and there but um, he's been good he's kept us um, you know at the time, you know, there were a lot, a lot of people that were part of the flock. So I consider myself blessed to still be in the fold mm. because there are some of them that are not, off um, you know, serving God like they were before. So I'm, I'm very thankful to God that I'm here today. That's amazing. Yeah. Okay. So, I mean, tell us a little bit about your journey as CC Baby. You've been... Have you been, you know, traveling internationally or going to different villages and regions to minister? We've been, we've been going to different villages and, um, I mean, regions, you know, to minister. We've not gone international yet. Mm. We were planning um, a tour last year, but because of COVID, we we're not able to do it. <laughs> so we are, we, are, we are trusting God. At the right time, we'll do that. The but time at the moment, will come. yes, at the moment, we're doing a lot of um, travel in Ghana. And uh, ministering to very young people, people that desperately need the love of God, mm. um, and that's that's what really you know gives me a lot of fulfillment in my work with God. Yeah. So yeah. So is it really is it mainly young people are the main people that you're? I wouldn't say your target audience, mm -hmm. but young people are they the ones that you connect with more, or is it just anybody? I like to think that uh, my father tells me that there's an Asian grace upon my life. So even though I'm young and I appeal to a lot of young people, by the grace of God, my mom is a Pentecost. And so I have very, you know, local roots in the church. So by the grace of God, I'm able to also appeal to the, to the older generation okay. as well. Um, yeah. What has been, I'm intrigued. I want to know, like, what has been the, since you've been ministering all around the country, I'm sure many people come to you with different testimonies. What has been the most heartfelt testimony the one that really got to you from one of your administrations last year in june july we released uh, Onyame Tonfo, um, which by the grace of god made a lot of waves and i had a call from somebody um, around akosombo mm -hmm. she said her mother was was ill so she's been he's been praying with a song all the time and all that but that night he just decided to go and play the song by her mother she had a spinal problem so she, he just took the music there, played it, and prayed with a woman, and she got healed. I haven't seen the woman, um, but it was it was oh, an I amazing. Just got wow. It was an amazing testimony that what is we didn't good. we didn't even have to be there, but yeah. God just did what He wanted to do with the Amen. song. And I mean, numerous testimonies coming in from I mean, everywhere. Mm -hmm. yeah. That is good. There's definitely an anointing Amen. over you. We love that. <laughs> May that oil overflow and Amen. continue. Amen. Okay, so, Cece, what else can we expect? You know, you said 2021 is coming. And actually, today, today, 9.30, I think this is why you guys should continue to stay tuned to Power of Worship. Because as soon as Cece gets off the stage, 
he is dropping a new music video yes today YouTube, yeah. okay so tell us about the song so it's, it's a medley of um, songs that we know already um, it's it was inspired by Ivan Soboy from from Nigeria oh, okay and um, so basically we put the songs together we we ministered the song at our last year Splendor it's a program an annual program we do um, it's called Splendor okay so we, we recorded it in September last year and then we are just re releasing it tonight nice. exactly at 9 30 on YouTube it's going to be on the crafted nation channel on YouTube kindly go on there subscribe and be sure to be blessed by that definitely yeah. I'm excited I'm excited we've got some messages coming through sure let me read some of them okay so we've got hi miss drew i'm andy i've been promoted from being a security to a general manager wow, wow. i can't disclose the company but one word is just be truthful in your ways mm. amen hi miss drew i'm kofi kenner i've been addicted i've been addicted to weed for so long and I want to really stop, but ever since I started watching Power of Worship with the testimonies, my soul feels new and I haven't taken some in some months now. I really want to stop and I know Power of Worship will see you through. Amen. Amen. Okay, we've got some birthdays as well. So, Jackson, tomorrow is your birthday. I wish you nothing but what you wish for yourself. In thousand folds, God bless you. Hello, Drew. I want to wish my best friend, Mickey Mensa and Abeka a very happy birthday best friends for life that's from your friend Eunice in a dental and Jerry Justice happy but belated birthday to you God bless you truly okay happy birthday in advance our boss Cece, <laughs> will sing a quick happy birthday for you go happy birthday to you happy birthday to you happy birthday to you Happy birthday to you. May the Lord bless you and cause your life never to be the same again. Oh, Amen. Amen. And of course, a very, very, very special happy, happy, happy belated birthday to our boss, Mr. Richie. Without him, there would not be any Silicon House, Silicon Production, Silicon Lodge, Silicon anything. So happy, happy birthday to you, boss Richie. May God bless you 100,000 million times fold. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Cece, I mean, being a, you know, gospel minister or artist in the industry, tell me, what is some things that you think our society or community can do to help push you guys forward to be, you know, greater in Ghana and internationally? I think basically the, the little things that we can do to support, um, you know, when we release videos, we should go out there and watch them, you know, share with other people as well. You know, the thing about the gospel music is that apart from you enjoying it or being entertained by the music, there's a spiritual aspect to it as well. Mm. So go out there, enjoy it, be blessed by it, and then also share with other people so they can also be blessed Amazing. by it. Um, when we release music as well, go onto the platforms and buy them. Um, that's, that's how we can also get supported. You know, the little way you can, you can support us Amazing. in what we're doing. Yeah. So, I mean... Tell me, what even, like, how do you get inspired by a song? How long does it take you to make a song? Are you one of those? I know they can make a song in one hour. Some people take them five months. Some people could be a day. How, where do you draw your inspiration from? It comes most, to most of my songs are during service, church service. Really? So, yes. <laughs> oh, tell me more. This is interesting. Yeah, so um, a lot of the songs, when the message is going on, the sermon is going on, I mean, a melody drops in my spirit with the word that is being preached. So most of the time, you find me take my phone and record it, go out and record it and come back in. I mean, you and will I'll, be in the service and then yes. you just go out quickly, record the melody so you don't forget and then you come back and sit down. Yes. A lot, a lot of the times, that's how I write. I mean, wow. Yeah. There are times also that I sit down, there's something that is burning in my heart on a particular theme. So I have to sit down and then write, put something down. Uh, sometimes I send it to other people to also listen to it, you know, pray on it as well, and then um, see what their inputs also are. But mm. a lot of my songs are in services. In services? So I don't joke with connecting, you know, in with the, the service when, when it's going on. Whoa, yeah. I have never heard that before. That's a new one. Wow. I like that. I thought you were going to tell me the same usual. Oh, you know. <laughs> oh, no, but this is good. Yeah. Very, very interesting. Thank you. Oh, okay. So, I mean, where would you like to see yourself in the next five years? 
Well, we are trusting God to use us, um, you know, what we do is, is ministry and we are just availing ourselves to the Lord to use us. So um, as the Lord leads us, we want to be able to do as much, as many, you know, songs as we can, mm -hmm. uh, be able to reach as many people as we can all over the world uh, with our music and also with the word that God has given us, you know, so songs and albums, um, we are trusting God. This is amazing. Songs, albums, we're going to be seeing that this year, this 2021, by the middle of the year, CC has said it here. <laughs> so make sure you are following him. I mean, I feel like it's very important that, like he said, that Central. we continue to support Central, each important. other yeah. in, the, in the gospel industry because spreading the word of God is like, it's life, it's the yeah. bread of life. And it's very selfish for us to not share it with our friends everybody needs to hear yeah. this good news that we have you know and it's i mean it's free to share it doesn't cost us anything, anything like and that. sometimes you never know just a conversation that you could be having with an unbeliever you can just you know tell them a short sentence or whatever you already go your own you go your separate ways but you've planted a seed exactly and you just leave it to god to continue to water it and later on he will meet that person and you never know what would happen but mm. that's why it's important to continue to share the good news, to talk to people about a simple, oh, God loves you, have a good day, can go a long way. Yeah. So I'm actually encouraging you guys this week, go and tell maybe your work colleague or you see somebody in the, the trust seat next to you or at work or walking on the road, just tell them God loves you. And you never know, they might come back to you with a testimony. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah but I Cece, I know that you've gone through quite a few things in life, so I feel like you have a word of encouragement to share to our viewers right now because we're in some very crazy times i mean i'm not gonna lie i thought last year that was gonna be the end <laughs> of the and world. then you know it would have <laughs> corona would have died down and we would have had 2021 to start afresh but that doesn't mean that because you know corona is still around that we cannot continue moving and doing the things of god or even doing the things that have been placed in our heart so let's not give up mm. on on the year some people are already saying oh 21 is cancelled <laughs> no 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 it's not cancelled this <clears throat> might even be your best year yet exactly. but cc is here to give you that word of encouragement <laughs> so please <laughs> well i want to speak to everyone listening to me and watching as well i want to encourage you the bible says in john chapter 10 and the verse 10 it says that the thief cometh not but to steal to kill and to destroy so if there's no nothing to steal in your life he won't come after you if there's nothing to kill in your life you won't come after you nothing to destroy you you will not come after you so if the enemy is coming after you if you are going through things it only means that there is substance in your life and i just want to encourage you that you don't give up no matter how, how hard the enemy pushes you you don't give up you have the understanding that there is substance in your life that's why the enemy keeps coming so on that understanding job is able to say that that you know though he slay me yet will i trust in Job chapter 13, verse 15. And he didn't just end it there. He, he also says that, but I will remain in the line of my God. So it's important that even as the enemy is, is trying you and you're going through a lot of hard times, you, you, you trust God, but not only that, but also you remain with God. There are a lot of people that, I mean, they go through things and because of that, they move away from their source, which is God. Mm. They move away from, from, you know, the connect, you know, the Holy Spirit. Some of them quit going to church and, and, and all that. But I want to encourage you that keep trusting God, keep going to church, keep doing the things that you're doing in the house of God and for God. And at the right time, the Lord will come through for you. God bless you for watching. Amen. Amen. And Cece, you have some fans on Facebook that are watching. So we've got Perez Hood who says, God bless you, Pastor Sisi. We have Lordina Oforiata. She said, hi, I'm watching from London. Haven't been invited by Mrs. Irene Beidou. Beidou is my son, and I thank God for using him for his works. God bless you all. Okay. Um, Princess Lara and Georgina Blake have sent fire and thumbs up. Elvis Delali has also sent a message, Patrick Graham. Thank you all of you for getting interactive on our social medias. We love to see it, we love to see it. But I mean, 
This is another episode of Power Now. Oh, Cece, what can we expect from you now? Tell them so they know not to turn off. <laughs> we're, we're going to be having fun. You know, I tell people that my team and I, we just like to have fun on stage. So we're going to do that. Don't, don't be left, you know, out of it. Join in the fun and be sure to connect with your spirit. And you'll definitely be blessed before we end it. Of course. The blessing is coming. It is coming. It is coming. So right now, call your friends, your families. Share the link on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube. Share the link. Let everybody know that we are live. My name is Ms. Drew, M-Z. D-R-U. I am your hostess with the Moses. You can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all of that good stuff. Thank you to Fashion Nova. Hey, fa Fashion Nova, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and Fiona Ash for my outfit. She's located in Adringano. And that is it for this week. I'll see you same time, same place next week. Stay blessed. Fully with HD Plus. Get the best companion for your HD TV with HD Plus. Dial star 879 hash to activate and enjoy the first two months for free. Do you want a sugar free, freshly squeezed fruit juice? Choose Green Line fruit juice and smoothies filled with vitamin C, calcium, iron, fiber, and zinc. Every drop of Green Line juice and smoothies is naturally made to give you energy, good health, and refreshment. Enjoy your favorite Green Line orange, pineapple passion, watermelon, pineapple and turmeric, pineapple beetroot, pineapple and ginger, and healthy green. Green Line fruit juice and smoothies, powered by nature. My name is Mahali Buchanan, singer, recording artist all the way from South Africa. Um, I was an artist on Great Divorce 2019 and I really, really had such an, uh, an amazing time. Um, it was, you know, made so much effective because of silicon. Uh, they are incredible. 
their work is A grade, the workers, um, all of the staff is just so amazing and uh, made our experience so much easy. Uh, Greater Works has a lot of people who attended and, and, and to have you know, your performance be um, as comfortable as possible is so amazing because the sound was good. So um, thank you so much Silicon for making uh, uh, this a memorable uh, moment where we could use our voices and uh, you guys helped us amplify the sound and, 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 and helping us you know, release the message to the people and telling them that God saves and, and God is our hope. Um, I had a great experience. Thank you so much. <laughs>
protect your children, protect your wife, protect the works of your hands, and see to it that you live to see many happy Amen. years and many happy days. And may the Lord prosper the work of your hands. And whatever you touch, may you see the blessings of the Lord in it. We pray that your years ahead, God will renew your days like yes. that of the Amen. eagle and strengthen you for the days ahead. Mm. And may the glory of the latter house be greater than whatever you've seen mm. in all areas of your life. So once again, from Power of Worship, we wish you a belated happy birthday. Celebrate it with love since you were born in the month of love. That's right. Thank you, man of God. One more time, belated brother, wish to you, Papa Richie, I love to call you. I appreciate you for creating this platform for all of us to show up every Sunday to give praise and glory to God. So, Silicon House Production in collaboration with Joy Prime TV every Sunday around this time gives you an opportunity to catch up on some great blessings that will drop on the screens. Tonight, we are honored to host one of the finest men of God I know in this ministry. He has a lot to offer. I know something good is about to happen. Tell a friend to tell a friend, tweet about it, make a call, send a WhatsApp note. Make sure your family is connected because something good is coming your way today. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're ready, let's welcome to the power of worship, the ministry of Pastor C.C. Baidu and Crafted Nation. Oh my God. <laughs> here to worship the Lord and experience his power.
Hearts always hunger for Oh, our hearts always Our hearts always hunger for Our hearts always hunger for Me cry Me me cry, na yo, Me cry, na yo, Me cry, na yo, Me cry,
left you morning every day. Cause should they leave me? Should they leave me? Should they leave me? Hey. Cause you then lead me every day. I like it all. Awesome time right here. Oh my goodness. Can I say that again? I told you something good was about happening. Some way, somehow, this is just phase one. Are you ready for phase two? I've got a couple of messages here. I want to read them. Quickly, let me read some messages and then I can do the break. Yeah, is that fine? Okay. Chide, do more. Charlie, you guys, it's working. <laughs> All right, so shouts to um, Pastor C.C. Beidou. Um, this one that says, I'm watching from London, having been invited by Mrs. Irene Beidou. Well, uh, C.C. is my son, and I thank God for using him uh, for his works. God bless you. And this one is from Lordina Ofori Atta. Bless you. Thanks for connecting from London. Likewise, everyone who is connected from across the globe, God bless you. Real good. Royal Chris says, God bless you. Pastor C.C. Forrest Hood says, God bless bless you pastor C you see I have a whole lot of God bless you for him right let me actually move on to this one and so Nadu host of uh, what she was on on Joy 997 she's watching and she wants to say hi to the drama she's being blessed by the administration Sammy <laughs> yeah Sammy she sees you Catherine Adaji says, God bless you. Noeline Somabe says, God bless you. So for CC and Silicon House Production. You know what? Let me tell you what. There's so much fire in the studio here. I wish you could see what's happening. In any case, we'll do a quick break. We'll return. Pastor CC and Crafted Nations will take us to another level. <laughs> Hey everybody, my name is Mahali Buchanan, singer, recording artist all the way from South Africa. Um, I was an artist on Great Works 2019 and I really, really had such an, uh, an amazing time. Um, it was, you know, made so much effective because of Silicon. Uh, they are incredible. Their work is A grade, the workers, um, all of the staff is just so amazing and uh, made our experience so much easy. Uh, Greater Works has a lot of people who attended and, and, and to have you know, your performance be um, as comfortable as possible is so amazing because the sound was good. So um, thank you so much Silicon for making uh, uh, this a memorable uh, moment where we could use our voices and uh, you guys helped us amplify the sound. And, 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 and helping us, you know, release the message to the people and telling them that God saves and, and God is our hope. Um, I had a great experience. Thank you so much. Ah, a 
carefully with HD+. Plus. Get the best companion for your HD TV with HD+. Plus. Dial star 879 hash to activate and enjoy the first two months for free. To sugar free, freshly squeezed fruit juice, choose Green Line fruit juice and smoothies filled with vitamin C, calcium, iron, fiber, and zinc. Every drop of Green Line juice and smoothies is naturally made to give you energy, good health, and refreshment. Enjoy your favorite Green Line orange, pineapple passion, watermelon, pineapple and turmeric. Pineapple beetroot, pineapple and ginger, and healthy green. Green line fruit juice and smoothies, powered by nature. Always a joy to know you're connected. Thank you for coming through with us. Welcome back. Silicon House Production in collaboration with Joy Prime brings you the power of worship every Sunday. You know we are here and this is where the blessings actually drop in leaps and bounds. We are also live across social media on all Silicon House Production social media handles. This great show is sponsored by Silicon House Production, uh, Silicon Lodge and of course Green Line Juice and Smoothies. You saw what happened in the first part. Pastor C.C. Baidu and crafted nation they are ready to bring us another dimension whilst uh, we sit back and we enjoy so i'm going to go off the stage keep your messages coming through when i return i will share to encourage him and also to give god all the glory so if you're ready put your hands together ladies and gentlemen oh. <laughs> yeah <laughs> You can call your friend, your family. Let's join hands and just worship the name of the Lord.
I don't know what you're going through, but I want you to understand that if you have Jesus, you have everything. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We bless you. In Jesus' mighty name. With this understanding, we just want to dance and bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Woo! We are going to have fun, so don't be left out in your house. Come on.
That's fine. My goodness, did you see that display? I love the whole backup, you know, Craft Nation. Give it up, give it a good man. Woo! <laughs> yeah. There's some joy here in the studios. Bless your heart and thank you for watching. Well, I guess this is about time for me to say bye-bye to those of you watching this live on Joy Prime TV. If you're on social media across all the platforms on Silicon House Production, make sure you stay with us. I have a few messages I want to push out. Well, this one from Kojo Samoa. Well, Kojo is watching. Kojo, thank you. Um, I'm need Daniel is asking God to bless you. He says, Hallelujah. Catherine Adazi, I see you. Uh, Mamiama, I see your dance moves, Joe. Who is Mamiama? Ani <laughs> Ekiamwa. <laughs> Yvette, I'm feeling the vibe, yeah. Catherine Adazi, whoa. 
Okay, what, quite a number, my goodness. Hope for Vuvu Shasha. The grace of God is, <laughs> is lifting sea and higher and higher. Amen. Amen. Deborah Kojo Jr. says hi. Well, uh, I love Pastor Cece and I love you, Phoebe Falls. So we love you back. Thank you. No Noeline Somabe says, God bless your software, Cece, and Silicon House Production. Shout out to Pastor Cece and the group. You guys are on fire. Okay. Well, quite a number. I'm sure we'll make time. Go watch it and respond. As it stands now, we want to do a quick break. When I return, actually, maybe I might not come back, but CC Baidu and Captain Nation will take over. Thank you for being a part. Thanks to Silicon House Production, Silicon Lodge. Thank you to Silicon, actually, Green Line Juice and Smoothies. The name is Fifi Falsen, the Christocentric guy. May God's grace see all of us through every life's race with an extra pace no enemy can chase. One more time, belated birthday wish to Mr. Richard Holomodor. God bless you real good. So after the break they're taking us to another level stick and stay and thank you for watching cheers Get the best companion for your HD TV with HD Plus. Dial star 879 hash to activate and enjoy the first two months for free. your life so 9 30 exactly let's all meet over there and stream it live amen
2020 is our year of restoration. 2021 is our year of revelation. Jesus be revealed in our marriages, God. Jesus be revealed in our finances. Jesus be revealed in this nation. We rebuke you, enemy. We rebuke you.
Put your hands wherever you are. All by Tampa. Oh, Kanye, from the world. Mighty are And then in dinner. Sing one me, one me. So 